Hi guys, Kirk and Jason Giordano here once more to show you how to do something pretty interesting today. What we're going to do is we're going to scratch, we're going to brown, two coats of color, and we're going to put styrofoam on here all today. What we're going to do is we're going to match this styrofoam here. And what the fellow did is he took it off systematically because I told him if you sacrifice one of your Sawzall blades, maybe 15 bucks, you'll save yourself about 400 bucks. That's what it would cost to duplicate these molds. They're probably they're only worth about 40 bucks, but by the time you buy each one separately, you're about 300 bucks and you're out about eight hours time. So he destroyed the blade and he salvaged them for us. So first thing we're going to do, scratch and brown. We're going to let that cure. Then I'm going to come, we're going to hose that down because we're going to put the molds on. And after we do the molds, then we're going to color it. And this is actually a two color or a two coat process. They did a, a sponge float finish, they floated it, then they came back after it set and they put a texture on it. Really interesting finish here. Got a lot of depth to it. So that's where we're going with this one today. When we get to the stages, I'll show you because it's kind of interesting when we put the molds on. And then the fella here, we spoke over the phone, he said, can you do the color to us? And there's no way anybody can match a color within a color. But he just happened to have the color packs so that we're going to do the best we can to try to blend in this color. It's called La Habra Clay just to see what we end up with. I told him no guarantees. It's either going to be three shades darker or three shades lighter. If it matches exactly, it's an accident. Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and get started. Jay's going to mix me up and I'm going to go ahead and put it on. All right, guys. Jay and I do a lot of multitasking stuff. What I've done thus far is I put two coats up there. Normally, I, I don't have to scratch this one. I don't have to put the scratch marks in it. What I've got, as he finishes a mix, I'll spread. And then I'll keep busy while he's mixing, meaning as he was mixing, I went ahead and hard rubber coated that. And we have two cups of luminite in there, which means it sets in five minutes. This is like fix-all inside. That fix-all, it sets in about 10 minutes. This sets in about 10. But I want it to set really quick difference of hiring a fella who knows what he's doing. Rather than make five trips for this, I'm going to do it all in one. A lot of guys, unlicensed guys, if you think, hey, I'll save some money and hire this guy is unlicensed, or a guy who's got to make a whole bunch of trips, nobody saves anything. We do it all one trip. Without sacrificing the integrity of the work. Alright guys, while we wait for our our base coat to cure before we put the molds on. Right now I'm going to mix the color. So what you have to do to start is you get your wall nice and wet because our mix right here is full of water. So I have my bag of color. This is clay and so I'm going to slowly add this to our color coat mix until I get the right color. Now this takes quite a bit of time to get right. Lots of little mixes and And while he's mixing that, we're going to end up with that dark color right there. And I'm waiting for that window. I have about another 20 minutes, possibly. And then we're going to go ahead and adhere that mold on it. Okay, guys. I've got about four tubes of Sikaflex polyurethane caulking. Um, it's a real good adhesive. I could use polybond for this also, but I like the uh, Sikaflex caulking better. But now what I'm doing is I'm putting at least a few nails in here to hold it until the, the Sikaflex really dries. And in the meantime, this joint I have up here, this is hard. Yeah, I, I can't stick my fingers through this. This is it's pretty hard. So I'm going to float this a little bit with water and get that joint real tight. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna uh, apply the color coat over here. But before I apply that, I gotta wet the wall because if you apply a color coat and try to match a finish while it's dry, say my new wet one into a dry one, it's a nightmare. It, it just would be five to 10 shades lighter or darker, it wouldn't work. So I'm gonna wet the whole thing. I don't really wanna wet the whole thing with, with it, but I have no choice in order to get 
the uh, color to match right on. We'll get a little water coming down here, no big deal. All right guys, I've wet the walls now that everything is dry and I'm applying the last coat. And again, the last coat, I'm gonna still float this and texture it. Anybody watching me do this, uh, there's a lot more to it than just what I'm what you're seeing. Jay has been mixing for eight years and plastering. I've been doing it for 30. You have to know how much to mix, how much accelerators, retardants, things like that to put in the mix. You have to know how much cement, you have to know how much time, when to, when to do the next coat. When it's set enough to load the first one, there's so much involved in it. I don't recommend you guys do this. Um, I'm just doing it because I can. I've got a lot of time in. And, and besides, I told the homeowner here that this color, it's going to be close, but it's simply not going to, there's no way it can match exactly. It's going to be three to four shades off, and we just decided to do the color a little while ago because he had the color. But when you're doing a color coat, or when you're doing a patch like this, you generally do the patch. Then you allow that to cure 30, 30 days, 28 days technically. Then you come and respread the entire wall, or you paint it. So, I'll show it to you when we get done with everything. I still have the texture to go, but what I'm doing now is I'm sponge floating it because the fellas who did this color coat actually did a really nice job. They, they spread it, then they floated it, then they textured it, so that's what I'm doing. And right now I'm bringing the aggregate out. I doubt you can see it from the camera there, but it's a heavy float finish prior to the texture. It's kind of like, uh, oh, 80 grit sandpaper, real heavy, so that's what we're doing now. Okay guys, we're about done, the sun's down, so our camera is going to die out in a minute with no lighting. What I'm showing you now is just, just the texture. That part of it's done here, I still got just that side here, but you get the idea. Um, and when this dries again, it is not going to be a perfect matching color. The idea is, uh, put it all back together and when it dries, paint it. But we're going to see just how close it gets to the side yard. He's not too concerned with it. Anyhow, this is three coats, same day plus the molds. Don't try that at home unless you know what you're doing. A lot of other stuff involved. My name's Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Thank you folks for watching. And as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one.